All right, guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be solving this equation where we have 5 to the x plus 10 to the x is equal to 20 to the x. And we know our x belongs to real numbers. So let's see what we can do in here. So first step, we'll see that all of these expressions have the same exponent and the basis are basically 5. 10 is 5 times 2 and 20 is 5 times 4. So what's going to tell us is that we can factor 5 to the x or we're just going to multiply this by 1 over 5 to the x. And if we do that from the first one, we have 5 to the x divided by 5 to the x plus 10 to the x divided by 5 to the x. And on the other side of the equation, we have 20 to the x over 5 to the x. So and we know for a fact that 5 to the x is not 0, so it's not going to make our denominator 0. So from the first one here, we have 1. Um, let's go over one of the laws of the exponent. When we have a to the x divided by b to the x, this will basically a over b to the power of x. So we have the same thing in here. We can write it down as 10 over 5 to the power of x and 20 divided by 5 to the x. So what we have now is 1 plus 10 divided by 5, 2 to the power of x is equal to 20 divided by 5, 4 to the power of x. And what we can do for 4 to the x, we can write it down 2 squared to the power of x. And from the laws of the exponent, we know a to the m to the n is equal to a to the n. To the power of n. So basically we can switch these two. So if we do that we'll get 1 plus 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the x to the power of 2 and we're just gonna bring everything on one side of the equation or we can subtract the equation by 1 plus 2x so we get 2 to the x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the x minus 1 is equal to 0. And here we can call these 2xy. So we're going to call 2 to the xy. And what we get is y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. And now we have a quadratic equation. And we can use our quadratic formula. So we know our a is 1 b is minus 1 and c is minus 1, 2. And if we want to do the quadratic formula, we know our y will be minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2a. So we'll be minus minus 1 plus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 times a times c divided by 2. Uh, we can see that the discriminant is positive so uh, no complex answers and what we get for y is 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 so 5 divided by 2 and this will be equal to 2 to the x. We called our y in the previous step here 2 to the x so this will be the two y's that we have. So we know for a fact when x, our x belongs to real numbers, this has to be positive number. And if you look at this ratio for 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2, we know the square root of 5 is 2 point something. And that's going to make the ratio negative. So this won't be acceptable for us. And our 2 to the x will be only the positive answer that we found or 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2. So now we have x to the exponent and a typical way to go for this kind of equation is we're going to do the log on each side. So we'll have the log of 2 to the x is equal to the log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Let's go over some a loss of logarithm so when we have the log of a to the b we know the exponent can go in the back of the log so we'll have b times log of a and also when we have the log of a minus log of b this will be equal to log of a over b so we see both of these uh, in our equation 
on the left side we can use the first one so basically we have x times log of 2 and on the right side we have this as our a and this will be our b we can write it down log of 1 plus square root of 5 minus log of 2. Now that we see the log of 2, we can divide log of 2 on each side of the equation. So basically multiplying by log of 2 and on the left side we have x times log of 2 divided by log of 2 is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by log of 2. And here we'll have log of 2 in the numerator and same thing in the denominator. So we can cancel out the first one. So we'll have x is equal to. Uh, so another law of the logarithm. When we have the log of a divided by log of b. We can write this down as log base b of a. So we have the same thing in here. And basically we can do log base 2 of 1 plus square root of 5. And in here we can cancel out the log 2 and we'll end up with 1. And that's going to be the final answer for this question. Hope you guys find it helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this one. Or if you have better solutions to solve this, I'd be happy to discuss it with you guys in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.